Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another DIY project. So today's project is going to be kind of a lengthy one. It could take me one day or two days, but I've got one day before I go back to work. So I'm going to try to fit it in all today. Today we're going to be doing a makeover of our living room walls and our fireplace. So I'm going to be using a couple of different tools in this video. Of course, I'm going to be using saw, my compressor, nail gun, nails for the nail gun. And I'm also going to be painting once again and also caulking for some seams but one of the niftiest little tools that i have found has been this trim puller and i will honestly say that it is probably the best thing that i have invested in So here's what we're going to be working on today. We're going to be doing this insert on the wall, the other side, and maybe the fireplace. This part is going to be really, really tricky because I'm going to have to end up taking the mantle off, taking the TV off the wall just to do... Still up in the air. Yeah, still to do some work. That's that's going to be a lot of work. Really, is going to do the shiplap on both Yeah, we're, both sides. we're getting that done today. Um, I might really start really work on the other today depending, depending on, on like what time it is but i think this is the time in the video where it's we not start gonna be, taking everything off i was just thinking it's not going to be as hard as the bathroom where you had to work around all those <laughs> all, all the those pipes, pipes and, and everything stuff. yeah we have to take the now. take everything off the shelves take the shelves down mm -hmm. and then i'll have to remount the shelves and everything like that but i mean that's that's pretty simple because i have a way to make this like really simple mm -hmm. for me so and I'll, i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to yeah. do that as well i think it's going to look really good with the shelves like the contrast of the shiplap it's the just shelves. so plain in here i know and that that area is just such a weird area i i don't think we mentioned a while ago maybe probably on our main channel that we got a quote for shelves and cabinets which we might still do and the they cabinets wanted in the several future, several thousand but it dollars. was it was really really expensive for just cabinets and like floating shelves i was just like I'll do it myself and I'll shelves. make a video about it. But yeah, that area of the, of the living room keeps changing. I'm glad though, because ooh, my hand's getting tired. <laughs> Gotta work up here but, while you're Yeah, I know. Um, but I am glad that we're gonna redo this space. And then also, if I, if I can put it in this video, mm -hmm. I'm going to, hang on. I'm going to do something with the window sills. Are you I'm, doing that today? I might, no, maybe not Are today. Future Either future project. Or at the end of this video, just do like a quick little makeover of. So it could be two projects in one. Or a so it could be a continuing project. Or a continuing project. We'll see. It could be like a part one or a part two. So are I'm you ready to get ahead to it? Yeah, bud. <laughs> off of the walls now what I'm going to go ahead and go do is I'm going to take up the baseboards and the quarter round around the wall right here and around the fireplace that way whenever I put the ship lap up it's going to sit evenly on the floor
kind of want to talk about this real quick. So this piece, this uh, baseboard that runs all the way back to the front of the stairs, I'm going to have to trim off, uh, I'd say right here where the old uh, caulk line is with the Dremel tool because once I slide the first board down into here, it's going to be hitting the baseboard and you want it to sit flush to the floor and you want it to also sit flush with the wall and obviously if you have this piece right here it's not going to sit flush all right so i've already showed um, a little bit of the products that we got Brittany and i went to home depot and we bought more shiplap this alone is going to take a whole bunch of time just because one i'm doing it by myself and two i have to take a lot of things down and then put a lot of things back up but we're going to get started on setting all the stuff up to do this job, get out um, all of my tools, the saws, the stand for the saw, then we're going to get out the nail gun, the compressor, and stuff like that. And then we're going to go back in, get our measurements, and start cutting, and throw some boards up. I do oh a little zoomed up all right so I do feel like I've run into one issue that I kind of knew I would encounter but I wasn't hundred percent sure how I was going to fix it now what I'm talking about is down here so in the corner here I am going to get some more quarter round I am going to get some more quarter round but it's going to continue on over so it's going to be flush sitting up against the wall like that and it would go all the way to the top but do I cut this piece short on the wall and make this side piece right here go all the way into the wall? That way it sits more flush. I'm really not 100% sure how I want to do it. Either way, it's still going to be covered, but I'm not 100% sure. I talked about it just a little bit about trying to figure out which way I wanted to do it. So what I ended up doing was cutting both ends of the boards at opposite 45 degree angles. That way it makes a perfect 90 degree angle. But some of the things that I'm running into now, which I said in my last DIY shiplap video, these walls are not straight and they're not even. So I'm having to come in and like trim, trim up this little middle piece or trim up this corner piece that way everything fits nice and uh, snugly together and it's just like snugly 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 and it's just like kind of it's been difficult yeah it wasn't i don't think as simple as just putting up the boards like it was no because last now you time have to cut well, everything and, just like, and you only did one wall of shiplap you're doing this I'm right doing here this, this all the way at the top. two walls here and then two walls on the other side yeah. so i really need to get moving To the end of it to this one <laughs> to this side it didn't take you all day or anything did it oh it took me half the day <laughs> yeah no, it was it. it was a challenge we'll talk about it here in a little bit because we ran into several issues several issues but you guys i'm already loving it so much i think it's turning out really good and just having just this right here 
it looks really good. I'm like just I'm trying to imagine it because I'm like the type of person that I can't just imagine something I have to see it before me to see if I like it or not like it has to be physically in front of me but now that I'm seeing like half of it already done maybe less than half of it because we still got to figure out right here but now that I'm seeing it I really really like it and I think it brightens up the room already too I'm surprised with how it's turned out to be honest we got one side done one side is complete I'm gonna start working on the other side. It took me a lot longer than what I thought it was going to. So we're gonna show the unofficial, not 100% complete side real quick. So first off, I know you noticed this part right here. I need to cut a piece for both sides right there. I'm gonna take quarter round and go down this side, edge that left side off, and also put quarter round in the middle there. Also, I put quarter round down at the bottom. So right now we are going to jump on this other side real quick and hopefully we can get at least half of it done tonight. All right, so now that we have this uh, bottom mold off and bottom quarter round off, it's time to measure out our first piece. And once we get that done, we will shoot up this wall hopefully a lot quicker than what the other one took. So let's get to it. All right, so we have both of our first pieces cut and ready to be put in. Honestly, this side was a lot, a lot easier to put in than that other side. I hope this continues and we will set up a time-lapse footage as soon as I get more of these cut. I'm now seeing how it looks even though it's not finished I'm seeing how it looks in daylight and I love it so so much I'm gonna show you guys what Frank got done this is gonna be part one I don't know if he's mentioned that yet or not but we're gonna split this up into two parts for this week to show you guys kind of like this living room makeover so obviously it's not done there's the second part will be it completely done this is just what we have so far and kind of what our next plan is which I'm so excited about and I hope you guys are too so obviously you guys already have an idea of what it's gonna look like because you saw the time lapse but I want to show you what it looks like now in the daylight and I like I said love it so much are you turning on the fireplace Nolan yeah, I'm. can I just say how impressed I am that Frank got this done in one day, which was not easy at all. I'm sure he's talked to you guys about having to do different measurements for this wall because it was not level at all. It was kind of concaved, so some of these boards have different measurements. But to go into detail, because obviously it is not done, he did get most of the shiplap on both sides done. He probably has six more boards over there. Uh, he ran out last night at like 10 o'clock at night, so that's why he didn't finish that section, but I mean, it's pretty much done. And then he just has this little bit right here. He's gonna have to cut one of the planks in half. So Frank's working today. He'll resume this project tomorrow and finish the rest of the shiplap. And then we haven't talked about it yet, but we're gonna be doing something totally different for this area. So that will be part of the second I guess episode or part two of this makeover for the living room. So he took out the baseboard, but he left or he's going to leave the quarter round. I think that's what it's called. If I got that right, I'm starting to learn my, my terms now, but he's going to be leaving that at the bottom instead of putting the baseboard back on the same th way he did it in the bathroom. If you guys haven't seen our bathroom makeover, that link will be down below. Check it out, which I think this project was a little bit easier because he only had to go around the outlets, which I'll talk about here in a second. Obviously just measure the wall. Well, I mean, I guess the different measurements were also difficult, but I'm impressed that he got 
this whole wall pretty much done and then three quarters of that wall done all right so speaking of the quarter round the plan is i'm just going to take this one off because he hasn't stapled it yet so the plan is he's going to get more of these and that will be in the corner where the two planks meet so try to envision that all the way up that's why you see a little bit of spacing and it's not perfect because the plan is we're going to put this quarter round in the corners we're also going to be putting it in these corners as well like that so that will be all the way up he has to get that at Lowe's tomorrow he says he's making a list of things he needs to get another thing that he's going to get I'm gonna put that back down there another thing that he's gonna get is I believe he said recessed recessed I hope I'm saying that right um, maybe he'll be able to explain it better in part two but recessed outlets I don't know what that is I told him to send me a picture so I'll be able to insert it so that's what he's gonna get for the outlets because we do have the fireplace outlet and also we have this outlet and this outlet another thing that you guys are probably wondering about is the edge of the shiplap because it's definitely not going to stay like this like I said we have something completely different planned for the fireplace so once that is done he's gonna have a corner piece that will go over what we plan on doing on this side and that will also be covered up as well kind of like the quarter round on the corners that will be on here as well so this part will not be exposed and another thing the shelves will be going back on this wall he already marked where the studs are so the shelves will be back which I'm so excited to see the contrast of the shelves on this wall I think it's gonna look so good so after he's painted and everything that he's done with these walls the shelves will be going back they're currently over there I didn't get to show you guys this side yet I said it's not completely done he ran out of shiplap he had plenty of these because what he's doing I believe these are six foot planks that he's using so the leftover that he's cutting he's using for this side as well so he really doesn't have that much at all I think the work that he's gonna have cut out for him is going to be this part this part of the living room this is probably gonna be a two-day project so you guys are going to be seeing this on tuesday and that video the next video part two i guess the reveal if everything goes smooth will be up on thursday so i hope you guys enjoyed this diy project we are so excited to see how everything's going to turn out definitely give this video a thumbs up if you guys are excited to see part two and we will see you in our next one like i said thursday i'm going to try and get it up as long as everything goes smooth so definitely check back in on thursday and we'll see you in our next one bye guys